Red Feather from Grephax. In this credit video, we will be showing you how to use three manipulation techniques that could be used with images or a Krita developed painted animation. The first tool we will be showing is the color selector. Now notice I have imported this image. This image is probably not the easiest to work with being multi-toned and using this creative tool takes time and practice. Once you have the image or the item you wish to work with on the canvas and size and other adjustments are made, go to the credit toolbox, click on the color selector tool, go back to the canvas, click on the area of the color you would like to work with. Once this is done in Krita, go back to the toolbox and click on the paintbrush tool. Then go back to the canvas clicking where you would like to build this color. As you may notice, this may not be the best tool for images, although it is very good at getting the proper color. For example, using the credit color selector tool on the grass, I get the color, but I lose all form of the grass. So let us see if the next tool will help. Actually, in this next credit procedure, I will use a combination of tools. Go to the Krita toolbox. Click on the color selector. Go to the canvas. Click on the color near the area you wish to work with. Once this is done in Krita, go back to the toolbox and click on the paintbrush. Go to the canvas. Click on the canvas near the area, leaving one dot. Then go back to the toolbox and click on the Smart Patch tool. Then go back to the canvas, lining up to the dot you had just left. Click and drag to where you would like, then release. Wow, not quite what I was looking for, but look at the form. Though my puppy now has a double jaw. So now let us try the same procedure in other areas of the image in order to see what the outcome will be for this credit example. Okay, I like this credit tool and felt it did a great job. But let us try something a little different. Notice the two squares of grass I have that are next to the upper right of the image. Those are just copy and pasted here. Here is how you can do this in Krita. Go to the Krita toolbox, click on the rectangular selection tool, go to the layers, make sure you have the proper Krita layer highlighted then go to the canvas, draw a box in the area you wish to copy. Then go to edit, scroll down to copy, and click. Then click on edit again. This time scroll down to paste and click. Once this is done in Krita, go back to layers. Notice Krita has pasted it in a new layer. Shut off the onion skin 
of all other layers so as to make it visible on your canvas. Having the new layer highlighted, go to the Credit Toolbox and click on the Move Tool. Moving it to an area that the newly pasted item will be visible when the other onion skins are turned back on. Once this is done in Krita, go back to the layers, turning all onion skins on. Then, moving your new copy into place. I hope you have enjoyed this Krita tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And, if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber and ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, after all, ladies and gentlemen, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out. <laughs>